Uh, I'm back with you, uh, Mr. Togozile, ne? Yes, Mr. Sima. I must get used to call it either Ingrid or Togozile. Either one. Yeah, yeah. And you, you have just confirmed one of my strong beliefs, and I think there's also a little bit of influence from my German years in terms of development. You, you, and this is what this is what it is that the fact that you are not able to go full time and go and study those 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 many degrees or diplomas is not an excuse for you not to to fetch information through other in company programs and uh, and development initiatives that are put in place yes that is very true um and it took me a long time to 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 not necessarily understand but to to accept it because you know um I mean, we live in a world where everything needs to be on paper. The, the amount of education you have needs to be on paper. Um, so that's how you're able to move from one um, career to the next because of what you have behind you, the, the degrees you have behind you. And uh, not everybody's afforded to that, that path. So um, you need to you need to make sure that you understand the different paths that you can you can venture into and not necessarily focus on making sure that uh, you are a doctor's ban ban you know because that might be this um, that might derail you to getting uh, the, the, the the practical uh, knowledge that you need if either way is presented do it but you need to you need to understand that it can come the, the one can come up before the other Wonderful, wonderful. I'm glad. I just wanted to make that straight that actually, in many cases, anyway, you need a combination of those. If you yes. have chosen to go through the academic streams, you're going to have to catch up very quickly to understand the real world, but that doesn't mean that you stop learning while you are in the company. So, so it, the, 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 there is always a need for continuous professional development if you want to take care of your career. Yes, so, uh, the learning never stops. I mean, now yeah. that I'm in this profession, you know, uh, I read reports, um, I read uh, manuals for for professional practitioners on transformation. Uh, you know, it's, it's 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 an ongoing learning. Wonderful. Uh, you were still sharing with us uh, the experience you have made with the own care at Siaka, uh, especially the type of initiatives in that short period that she exposed you to. Yes, um, you know, working at Siaka for me was a blessing um, because she gave she gave me an opportunity to learn everything. You know, you are never you are never doing one thing. Um, I was there as a project manager, but you learn how to sell. You learn how to conduct workshops. You learn how to. Um, account manage you know you learn a lot of things because she um she's and the, the nice thing is that she's the one that teaches you you know you're not you are not relying on maybe a manager to to help you understand what is happening now what is my role now you learn on the ground when there's a need anybody can fill it you know if you are not putting yourself in a position where you want to learn you will get left behind so that's why i was exposed to uh, learning everything that I could, you know, because she's just a well of, of, of knowledge. And uh, with the initiatives that um, I was part of at Siaka, it's, it's initiatives that are really at the, the heart of transformation, you know, from the enterprise development initiatives that we did, uh, the social economic initiatives that we did, you know, it's, it's, it's work that... It's work that it will give me goosebumps, and um, that's why from from then on it was really um, a stamp for me. That that was a validation that this is the work that you need to carry on with. I'm glad that you are acknowledging her and Siaka. Uh, basically, they've contributed to towards establishing yourself as a consultant yes. in the space. Yes, they, oh, they did. Yeah, and many people sometimes they have a tendency of 
forgetting where they they got it, and and and, and it, it is it is it is really important for people to appreciate that uh, all these companies that we work for, although they were paying us, but the one thing that you can never put money to is the opportunity to learn that they give you. And, and we expect you, the entrepreneurs, to do the same. You know, get other young people into your organization, but make sure that they become better than you. And, and they can even outgrow your organization because that's how we can grow the country. True, true. Wow. Uh, let's talk about your company now uh, in this episode. Uh, uh, tell me, how have you formulated the the model of your business? Uh, tell us the name and the, what it stands for. What is it offering? What are your key strategic uh, initiatives, uh, value proposition, you name it? Uh, um, how you distribute your, 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 your services. In other words, in short, present your enterprise to us. Okay, so my, the, the name of the company is called Vuna Naati. Um, Vuna Naati means harvest with us in Zulu. Mm. We are a 100% black-owned um, female consultancy. Uh, we focus on high-impact socioeconomic development and enterprise development initiatives. We are passionate about social impact and driving profitable businesses um, because we believe that these two go hand in hand. Uh, our value proposition, uh, we offer insight-based socioeconomic strategy, implementation and execution, uh, which includes corporate branding aligned to, to that strategy based um, of the, uh, depending on the, uh, the company uh, you, you, you represent. Yeah, let's just take it, I think I, I lost you there, just take it uh, from where you were starting to talk about the value proposition. Okay, so um, we offer insight-based um, socioeconomic strategy, implementation and execution, um, including corporate branding aligned to, to, to that strategy. We monitor and we evaluate the impact of assessment based on the uh, initiatives, the social economic development and um, enterprise development. Uh, we integrate graduation models from social economic development to enterprise development. Mm, mm, wonderful. So you are, you are really within the broad-based black economic empowerment in a practical way? Yes, yes. Um, is that partnerships, you know, are, are very key in this industry. You can't be a jack of all trades. <laughs> um, so um, we, we are, I have great partners um, that, that, that have strengths in areas where I don't. Um, so we, I have learned to work in, in, in collaboration with other companies. I see. And, uh, and uh, do you have... Uh... A, a, a number of uh, staff that are supporting you or you you work with the associate model only? So far it has been uh, associates um, so um, it's, it's a one man band but I have associates that I consult with and work with mm. uh, at, at times that I need to. Mm. So you are also available obviously to be brought in as a resource in other projects which may not necessarily be yours? Yes. Um, I'll give an example. Currently, I have been brought as a resource for a project I'm doing uh, for the Public Relations Institute of South Africa. We're doing um, a campaign, a COVID-19 campaign. We're trying to find micro-influencers just to find out how uh, the, 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 the virus has impacted the... the the different communities, especially the disadvantaged communities, because uh, there, there was a trend that I was noticing, and, the, and not just me, but the reason for this project, there was a trend that we noticed that people respond differently to the message that is brought to the brought by the government. Mm -hmm. um, when we were when we were level five, uh, people were not wearing masks. Um, they wore masks very seldom. Actually, when we started, when it was lockdown, when lockdown started. 
uh, they complied, but eventually people just decided not to comply. And when we got to level three, it, uh, people in, the, in 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 townships, um, for them it just felt like we are, we don't we not um being immune to this virus. So mm-hmm. we wanted to understand uh, the reasons um, why why they behave in that way. Is it maybe the education that is needed in those areas, or maybe there's a, there's a perception about the virus um, um, that we need to understand? So that's uh, one of the projects that I'm busy with right now. Mm. Yeah, people in general are just are just not fa- in favor of new ways of doing things. Change is a, yes. is a, is a, is the most difficult thing, and if it's not uh, facilitated and enabled, it will not happen. Yes, and it's, it's, those, it's, it's those changes that we need to understand why uh, one person is able to adapt to the change and one other, why the other person is not. So mm. that's uh, the research that we are doing. Mm. And then having said that, how did you manage your transition from being employed to, to become self-employed and what were the challenges that you had to deal with? And I remember I had this conversation with you briefly. Um, you gave me an aha moment. Mm. Uh, so I had always um, ran ran uh, my business uh, while I was I was um, in corporate. You know, studying. Um, I was a consultant, um, but not necessarily fully operating in the business. Mm. So for me, I wanted to have it both ways because. I didn't want to fully jump into the opportunity of uh, being an entrepreneur and losing my salary at the same time. Um, it, it took it took me a long time to actually do a hundred percent jump, and that also was not um, was not a decision that I had made. Um, I found myself out of a job, and. Um, at that point, I had to decide what I was going to do because it happened sporadically, you know. Um, I had not finalized what I was going to do and uh, where my next paycheck was coming from. It was very stressful. So mm-hmm. I found myself presented with an opportunity to um, dive in and focus on the business Um but still, my mind was saying, no, you need to find a job because remember, you have a family to look after, you have a child, you know, and you still have bills to pay, you know. Mm-hmm. So that was a very critical moment for me. But I took the leap of faith. And I remember I had a conversation with you um, regarding this. Mm-hmm. And you gave me you gave me something to ponder on because I, uh, I shared with you uh, that experience in detail. And you, you said to me, but this is what you said out to the universe yeah. that you want to be a businesswoman. You yeah. know, everything that you've been doing is you sending out feedback to the universe that you want to consult. You want to be a businesswoman, but now when you are presented with a, with that opportunity, you become scared. Mm, mm, that is often know, that is often the case. Yes, you know mm. you. you whether you really want to venture into this um, this direction, which is unknown, and or you want to go back to looking for a job. So it took me a while, but when I decided um, that this is a this is a road that I want to take, I was um, I was very intentional about it, and um, it gave me a lot of. of of, 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 of satisfaction because um, a lot of people think that when you go into business you you deta- you, you you're able to dictate that which um, at what time you're gonna work and uh, you dictate your your working hours and so forth. Not understanding that running a business is is hard. You don't sleep. You, even when you're not sitting in front of your laptop, when you put your head on that pillow, you have a, a, a million things running in your head, you know? So I sleep with my phone under my pillow because every time I get a thought, I put it on my notes as a to-do list in the morning because you you never really sleep. Absolutely. And, and, and I think for those who are not entrepreneurs, who are still aspiring to be entrepreneurs, 
It is, doesn't mean that we live a life of uh, struggle. It, we love doing it and, and we reconcile with the fact that your business is not you. Your business needs to be serviced. And, and, and often it doesn't tell you that service me at 3 o'clock afternoon. It can be 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 the, and then the engagement with the thoughts that uh, are triggered by the stimulus that are sort of business could be something else. And, 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 and with, if those thoughts are negative, yeah. if those thoughts are negative, the universe will respond negatively. So, so the problems we go through, and I'm going into a, into an advisory mode, which is not the intention, but I just feel that the, using your story, there might be somebody there saying, "Look, but I, I, this is not this is not what I thought it's about." But it is exactly about that. You have decided to give birth to business, and that that business has got its own heartbeat, and and it's not going to want to be it's not going to be service at your own time. So 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 yeah. I just wanted to yeah. We we had that discussion before, and I think uh, we'll continue having it. And 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 sometimes the things that we are exposed to, as you said, so uh, is the things that we ask for. Mm, mm, mm. And what I what I found when I made that decision, you know, um, because at that time that that was a very very stressful time. Uh, in my life, um, a lot of things were not going right, and I think, and in retrospect now, I know that it was the it was it was the universe uh, trying to give me what I want. You know, mm. opening up the, the the life that I had envisioned and uh, giving me those opportunities that I've been looking for to do the work that I love. And uh, these days, my reason for getting out of bed is to work on projects that reimagine society and education. For someone who spent a decade in different roles, struggling to find a reason to get out of bed, um, it is now refreshing. It's, it's a refreshing change to have a deep sense of purpose. You know, my health and well-being have radically improved. Um, my my primary reason my primary reason for this has not been um, the health choices I have made or the diets I have followed, but because now I live with a sense of purpose, and that is the platform for all the decisions that I've made. Wow. And, and why do you think we are having these conversations today? It's for, for this conversation for me is uh, a validation mm. that I have made the right choice. Um, and I know that somebody out there is also going through the same. And, um, you know, because of where they are in life, they might, especially now that a lot of people are losing jobs, um, um, they find themselves in a very difficult period in their time. You know, it's it's a really it's really a time for you to go back to the drawing board and um, find out what you really um, wanted to do. Because, like we, we spoke earlier, we go from job to job, and uh, you never you never look at your. Um, your your plan or your vision, you know, you put that at the back seat because now you just want to go to job and for, and go to work and come back and forget about it until the next morning. You forget about your your life. You forget about your visions or the plans that you had. Uh, so this in, this time is um, because now the the pace is very slow. We need to do some introspection and uh, realign our lives with the work that we are doing and have, have, have a meaningful have a meaningful life you know a meaningful life is not about money uh, a, a wealthy life is about waking up in the morning and feel validated that you are enough you know and uh, the work that you do fulfills you you know and um, you it, it's not necessarily about the big car or the big house. It's about the day-to-day decisions that you make that give you a sense of purpose and they give you clarity, you know, because um, what I've also experienced is that during this time, through the research that we've been doing, people are highly, highly, highly stressed mm. and uh, very, de- very depressed. And it's because you find yourself in, uh, you've, now you are, your back is against the wall and uh, you 
you you realize that you've been living this life and um a life that is not yours a job that they might take away tomorrow and that's that's where you had based that's where you had put or that's where you had based your your, your purpose to be and if that's gone then what what's what is there to live for absolutely all of us we have dreams and right this at this point in time all those dreams are being challenged and and our staying power is being questioned, and and I always say that uh, you you can never build the the dam while the river is full. Yes. This is the time to really to build the dam so that when the rains come, and the the, the rivers are flowing, then we can contain the water. It's very hard. It's easy to say, but difficult to follow. But the reality is that this is not the time. To, for us to be harvesting. These are the times for us to be planting because it's a planting season. And you plant, you, you, you design things when things are bad for the good times. You know? You, you make the roof during the, the, the dry season for the rainy days. That is so true. You know, so in that said, the, the platforms that uh, you as Kamisa has, has given us, you know, to build, um, to, 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 to nurture relationships, I think that's where we need to, that's the, that's the phase we need to focus on right now. Just to make those relationships, just to uh, increase your, your network, um, build relationships, um, collaborate, because it's, it's in working together and, um, and communicating that we are able to come with solutions that you will not have been able to come up with uh, by yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. Beautiful stuff. This is really quite a, a, a very lovely story, and I'm sure there are some people there sitting and said, this, this resonates very well with me. Um, before you, we, we ask you to share with us, to share your contact details with us, what, if, if, if I'm the aspiring entrepreneur listening to you and I want to follow on your footsteps, establish my own enterprise, what will you be, what do you say are the clear-cut logical steps that person needs to follow to get to a point where they can find themselves running an enterprise without really going into extended explanation. In all honesty, I don't think there is a, a clear um, a clear route to follow. We have all been dealt different cards in life, and um, like with my story, you know, it's it's the it's the places and the people and um, the situations that I found myself in that led me to where I am today and the work that I'm doing. So it's not a cut and paste for everyone. Um, but the most fundamental thing is to know yourself. Um, you know, we live in a world where we want to focus on other people's lives. We want to live other people's lives based on what we see on Instagram. And um, once you live that life, you neglect who you really are and you never fulfill. Hence, we find so many uh, people that are suicidal, you know, you know, and you ask yourself, this person had everything, but why, why, why the suicide? Why depression? And that's because you don't know who you are. You know, and the journey should start there. You should know who you are. You should know your values. Um, mm. And uh, by knowing your values, you know uh, the, the kind of things that feed all your passion and um, the kind of work that, that you, you will be doing. Um, you, it's, it's, it's not necessarily being an entrepreneur. Even if you decide on a particular career as a doctor or as a policeman uh, for a lack of a, um, a better uh, career to mention, but it's, it's in that calling, you know, um, it's in those conversations that you have with yourself into developing who you are, knowing you, who you are at a core. And once you have that in place, then merge 
equip that with the with the, the the work that you want to do, the courses you want to take, and uh, I promise you, once you know who you are, when you are presented with different opportunities, you are able to say no, thank you, this is not for me, or yes, this is for me, because you know what you want now. You know you're on that role where you are creating the life that you want. Don't just take any opportunities because that is what is presented to you. You are very concise. You are very clear. On, 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 on what you want and eventually it would lead you to a place where all of that comes together because you know um, as a young girl I remember um, when I had the vision of being a businesswoman um, it, it was not very clear what I wanted to do but I knew the person that I wanted to be you know and I did not understand that there's a journey you need to travel there's a, there's a journey you need to walk to be that person. It's not just um, starting a business, regi reg registering the business, and you're gonna get all the businesses coming to you. There's a journey, you know. There's painful. There's a painful process that you're gonna go through. That will teach you um, the resilience that you need for your business and um, the, the, the the connections you're going to make in life as well. And determine whether the connections that you or the people that you come in uh, in contact with, whether they're the right people to info um, to influence your business business negatively or positively, you know. So all of that is a journey, and uh, you don't just get there from applying to be a businesswoman and tomorrow you are there. Wow, I I, I feel like I want to make you the ambassador of Cometa slogan. <laughs> The philosophy of the mind, the journey, the destiny. Uh, <laughs> to apply our I, mind to the journey that takes us to our destiny. You have just said it in, in so many different ways. Oh, wow. That your journey starts in your mind and it takes you to your destiny. That is amazing. You know, that's why our journeys have been able to meet. Because in my mind, and that's the way, they, that's the way I've envisioned it, and you actually have a company that lives that vision. So that's why our paths um, Absolutely. crossed. Absolutely. And it, you remind me of uh, the classical book by Napoleon Hill, Think and mm. Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich. If you were very close to me, I've got about five different versions of that book with, those, that book <laughs> with me in my, in my house library here. I actually would have, would have given you one to go and have a look at it you will have actually realized that you have touched on every one of those 15 principles of, of think and grow rich. Actually, I want to challenge you to, next time when you are at exclusive books, get yourself a copy of Think and Grow Rich. Or you can go on YouTube and just look for Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. You will, have, you will come across thousands and thousands of different versions, interpretations, reviews, and he believes that it is all in the mind. Wow. And wow. Mahatma Gandhi takes it to the next level and he says, I quote him, Your beliefs become your thoughts. Mm, mm, your thoughts mm. become your weights. Yes. Your weights yes. become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Your habits become your values. Your values become your destiny. Like a, a, a quote close, Mahatma Gandhi. How, how is, does that sound for you? It's amazing, you know, because um, those are the kind of books that I read. And, uh, and uh, you know, when you go through life and uh, you experience challenges, you always you i think um when you are when you are cognizant of um the teachings from from mahatma gandhi and them you realize that the mind is very very powerful you know and um it's it's easy for it's, it's easy to to have something and not to have something when your mind is not strong it's easy to come out of uh, depression um, if you have a strong mind, mm -hmm. um, it's easy to to succeed when you have a strong mind. You know that's the that's the that's the differentiate, differentiating factor between a, a, a people. Whether you have a strong mind because you could 
We're coming from our. Absolutely. Everything starts in the mind, and some of those those thoughts we are not even aware of them. But they said mm. that there is about we we are having about twenty thousand to hundred and fifty thousand thoughts per day. Sure. And ninety nine percent of them we are not even aware of. That is shows how powerful our how powerful our our mind is, is and, mm. and how we can't take the thoughts for granted. And most mm. it's very important for us to think positive thoughts because we don't want the universe to deliver negative things as a result of our negative thoughts. Beautiful oh, yes. stuff. And, and, and that is also a practice. You know, it, it, it doesn't just happen. Um, you need to be very, uh, you need to be aware when the negative uh, thoughts come into your mind. And not that they won't come, but it's how you respond to the negative thoughts that will make you stronger or make you um, uh, make you go a level higher than where you were before. Beautiful stuff. Wow. This is beautiful. I'm glad we did this. I enjoyed this conversation thoroughly. Lovely. Thoroughly. Same here, and I'm sure the listeners are just clapping hands and say thank you for the inspiration. How did they get hold of you? My email address is ingrid at vunanati.co.za or info at vunanati.co.za. You can find me on LinkedIn as well under Ingrid Kosana. You can find me on Instagram under Ingrid Kosana as well. Um, We are slowly but surely building our online presence. I'm working on content, on, on, on content as we speak because I want our brand to speak to the value, um, to the values in the way we represent ourselves out there. So you will get um, content on myself on LinkedIn, uh, but for, for the company, we're still working on that. Beautiful stuff. And uh, you, you, will, you, you don't have the domain yet of the website that you're going to build. I do have, it's www.vunanati.co.za Beautiful. If you can just repeat your mobile number using the International South African Code. Mobile number is uh, plus two seven seven six eight one four three nine seven six. Beautiful. You know you are representing, and I always want to say this because I don't want to make the mistake, you are representing a very important constituency in South Africa and in Africa and the world, and that is the constituency of women executives and women entrepreneurs. Mm, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Beautiful stuff. Um, ladies and gentlemen, dear listeners, that was Ingrid Kosana. I I've nicknamed her Anointed Social Entrepreneur. Anointed Social Entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have launched a rocket. I think we have launched the rocket into the, uh, 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 what do you call, up there. And we hope the rocket will hit the target. And one day we will be sitting and say, you remember, you said it to the universe on Comesa Radio Africa. And the universe has responded positively. This is where you are. So... Yeah, you you, you, oh, yes. you can say your closing remarks. Oh, thank welcome. you so much for this opportunity. You know, um, I was looking forward to this conversation with you, and it has been everything that I wanted it to be. And I uh, hope your listeners also enjoyed it and got some value from it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. That was Commander uh, Radio Africa with Ingris Kosana. I am Sam Zima the CEO and Executive Business Coach at Commerza GOC International. As mentioned at the beginning, you can visit our website, and the address is www.commerza-goc.com. We do encourage you to consider becoming our member of Commerza Friends and Supporters Club, NPO. That is a practical way you can become part of this movement of really enlightening each other through entrepreneurship and professional continuous development. The membership can be applied for online at 
commerzaclub.africa or drop us an email at callcenter at commerza-goc.com. We thank you for tuning in and we're looking forward to welcoming you at our next broadcast. Goodbye and take care.